Hello people, how are you doing today? Welcome to another video of JavaScript Fundamentals and today we are going to discuss about variable declarations. When it comes to variable declarations, there are three keywords that are very important. That is let, const and var. Now, this is very widely spoken topic already. Then why are we discussing again? The only reason is, over the period of time I have observed that developers kind of use let and const quite interchangeably where we need to be a bit, bit careful about it. And the second thing is like once we understand these concepts with JavaScript scope or scope chain or variable scope, it becomes very easy for us to memorize, right, the, the things like that. We'll also talk about the uh, var stuff, you know, we won't ignore that, though it is like a status thing. So without spending much time, why don't we just get into the business? We'll start seeing this with lots of examples, right? So you're with me? All right. So what are the different ways we can declare a variable like so we can actually declare a variable something like this. So if you notice here, I have not really used any var late const. Now this is with no keywords, but it essentially same as using var. However, it is not allowed in the strict mode. I and mean, now most of the browser also may not allow it uh, declaring a variable like this, right? So the older ways of declare variable is something like this var price equals to say 100. So it means I am declaring a variable called price uh, with the var keyword and that's going to work out really well, right? Now the next way, since ES6, we have uh, JavaScript introduced two new new keywords called let and const. That's what we're going to see in depth in this particular video. So you can actually do like say is permanent equals to true or false, whatever, and then the next thing that you want to do is like, um, you know, const, const say publication equals to, yeah. So these are ways that you can actually declare variables. Uh, now what we are going to see here, we are going to see that this variable declarations are influenced by three major factors right so one of the, the first factor that we're going to talk about is called javascript scope then the second factor is uh, called reassignment of values uh, assignments of values and the third one the last one is like when we access a variable without declaring let's say without declaring right so these are the three factors through which we will understand the behavior of these variables right so let's get into the first one that is called scope so the first one is scope what exactly scope means in javascript scope is a way to identify if a variable is existing to use it means whenever we are trying to use that variable whether i can use that variable's value at that particular point of time that's what the scope means it means this you know in this scope this variable is available to use or not the variable may exist to use within a block or inside a function or outside of a function and a block right so it means that there are three types of scope that we are going to talk about here one is called block scope the second one is called function scope and the last one is called global scope. This is like outside of function, outside of any kind of block, right? These three things that you're going to talk about. Now, what is a block in JavaScript? So a block is basically a section of code that is defined by this pair of braces, right? So anything and everything that you write inside this particular block it's inside the block scope, right? It's, it's, we're defining this variable inside this block. So this is a block scope. But on the contrary, the function, the functional scope is driven by the function. Now, what is function in JavaScript? Function is nothing but a bunch of code logically placed to execute certain task. And we create function using the keyword called function. Then we give a name to the function. And after that, we do a bunch of things over here, right? We can probably do the same thing, let name equals to Alex. We can declare a variable, right? That is what the function does. So anything and everything that we do inside the block or inside the function, it's in the block scope or 
in the functional scope but anything outside of this is in the global scope so we are going to talk about these three scope now first is block scope so here comes our rule of usages of this keyword the first rule in the block scope is if you do not want a variable declared inside a block to be accessed outside of the block please declare them using let or const keywords any variable that is declared using var inside the block is still accessible outside of the block too okay that's the thumb up rule so let's see with an example first we'll create a block this is a block now let's create three variables i'll create like say first name somebody like alex and then we have a variable created with const it's called zip let's say give some number to this and the last one that we can do is like create a variable with var and give some number to it as it is an age now what we're going to do we are going to access this variable outside of this block one by one so let's do if name first and then copy this one paste it twice so that we can actually use the same console.log for other two so we'll do zip and the last one would be edge so at this time what we are doing is like we have declared three variables over here with let const and var and inside the block and we are trying to access them outside of the block now our thumb up rule is like anything and everything declared inside the block using let and const are not accessible outside of the block but if it is with var it is accessible outside of the block right so this is what we need to remember so accidentally also if you are declare something inside the block as a var and trying to access it outside it is accessible even if you don't want so please please keep that factor in mind as you're seeing the error here is like the uncaught reference error if underscore name is not defined because it is not there if i remove this and run the uh, code again the code will be similar for the zip as well it will also throw the similar error so we see a similar error for zip as well now if i just remove zip and then run this one we will see that this is accessible and it is printing over here right so that is the rule of thumb if you want a variable to be accessible outside of the block scope use it with var if you don't want it to be accessible the reason that we create something within the block because we want it to be contained within the block we don't want it to be accessible outside so please please keep in mind that it has to be let and const okay so you saw this one let's move to the next scope which is like functional scope all right so functional scope what exactly a functional scope in functional scope a variable declared inside a function using these keywords like all these three like var let const is not accessible outside of the function yes even if it is the it is declared with var in block scope at least we have seen that declared with var inside a block was accessible outside of the block in case of function the functional scope defined by that function is these are not at all accessible so let's see with the uh, example so we'll first create a function f1 with our you know the, those three variables again and then we'll call this function over here so this function will be invoked over here then the next thing that we want to do is basically console.log of you know that f name and of course the other two as well so we are kind of sure that um, at least the variable declared with let and const won't be accessible but we might have some doubt about edge right whether the, the, the one declared with the edge will be accessible or not so what we'll do is like we'll probably remove these two and try to access only edge and see like whether the, the age is accessible after the uh, declaration is done or not right so first we see like of course f dot f underscore name is not there defined because it's not accessible but we may have some doubt about age so let's do this one as we see clearly it says that age is not even so even if it is with var it is not available outside of the function to access so that is the influence of functional scope on these three keywords right now we'll move to the global scope so as we know the global scope means it is neither inside a block nor inside a function so it means all outside so let's take the take an example and try to understand right so first we'll again take the same three variables with the let const and var and then we will declare a function called function f1 and what we'll do we'll 
try to access this variable inside this function one by one so we'll do like f underscore name and then copy this one couple of times so that we can try printing the other two as well like zip and age so let's do zip and then also do age and one more thing that we can do over here is like we will we'll try to print this one outside the function also and of course we'll invoke this function right so what are the things that we are doing over here is like first we have declared these three variables globally then accessing these three variables inside a function in invoking the function then again accessing this variable outside of the function now in all these cases we will see that this is accessible because anything that you declare globally not inside a function or inside a block it is accessible globally right so this is what that we are going to uh, see right now so you see here it is printed twice one is 11 12 13 line number that is this three and then again 18 19 20 that is over there so in global scope is outside the function outside the block and you can use var let and const to declare global variables however don't do it often because if you're declaring it a global especially with var we'll see just in, in the next section of it there is always a chance of accidental override of the value and you might not have control on it right and it is hard to debug as well so try to scope variable as much as um, close to its usage for example inside a block or inside a function wherever it is getting required that's how we should be moving towards so that's all about the scope three scope we have uh, discussed and what we have understood is like the usage of var let and const is heavily influenced depending on what kind of scope this variable is trying to get accessed right so i hope you remember now we will move to our next case first was the scope the next case is called reassignment all right friends so now we'll talk about reassignments again here we have those three kind of declaration that we have seen above with the uh, late constant var and if, if you see it's kind of assigned with uh, some values over here already now if i try to reassign uh, and we'll see like how this behavior changes over here right okay so let's do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reassign f name with a new value say jack and then we are going to do zip with a new value like a new number and then what we'll be doing like age with a new value let's say this one right that's a too big okay so this one so one rule of thumb over here is like we can reassign the value of a variable if it is declared with let and var but we cannot reassign the value of a variable if it is declared with const this one we have to keep in mind and that's the reason when we reassign the value of this zip uh, with this new value what we get this uncaught type error assignment to constant variable is not allowed at the line number 10 which is this so this one you need to remember quite well when you're using this now there is a tricky thing over here what is the tricky thing and that is where, where you know many times as a developer we fall in trap so we understand that const is something that we won't be able to reassign a value again the tricky situation come when you declare a variable using const and assign an object as a value to it so if you do that in that case you will be able to change the value of that object's properties however you won't be able to assign a new object to it sounds confusing i completely understand so let's take this as an example over here and see how it works so first we'll do like const and then we'll do like say uh, blog is a is a variable i'm assigning an object to it and my property name is a url and let me give a value of this property call uh, green roots dot info this is my blog by the way and then what i'm going to do here if i'm doing blog dot prop sorry blog dot url and i'm changing to something else let's say i'm changing to something like you know ghost dot com for example this is allowed because here what we are doing is basically we are changing the property of the object we are not changing the value of the block itself to something else now if we try to do something like this 
like this blog equals to a new object or anything else this is not allowed however changing a properties is very much allowed so this is a confusion that many of the developers basically the beginners have about the const const means a variable declared if you try to reassign altogether means changing everything at the right side of this equals you cannot do however in this case in this object case you can actually you know set a new value to the properties i hope this point is pretty much clear right now so scope and reassignment is done we got two fundamental aspects the last thing that we are going to discuss about is if we try to access a variable before its declaration and how let and const going and var going to influence that all right we are moving to the last part of our session today so we are going to talk about you know when access a variable before you declare it so in this case basically what happened as a pragmatic programmer as a smart programmer we should never try to access a variable without declaring it but in case it happens you know there are few consequences of this in javascript you can run in a strict mode or in a non strict mode non strict mode means some of the things that are very loose like you know you are allowing sort of the probably bad practices to happen which you should not if a very the variable will have and value of undefined you know in case you are actually just you know trying to do this trying to access a variable before you are declaring it it will have undefined it means a variable has been declared but there is no value assigned to it that's what undefined means but in the strict mode or in the modern era of javascript you will always get a reference error that the variable is not declared with let and const this is assured and that is one of the reason that you must be using let and const over var again and again because there is no room of this error right let's see that see this example over here where we are doing a console.log of name at the line number 4 but we are actually declaring this variable name at the line number 6 you know after it we are trying to access it at the line number 4 and as we are doing it it late you can see like it's uncaught reference error cannot access name before its initialization which is like pretty obvious that we cannot do this piece so uh, this is very good right so you need to remember that when you are access a variable before it declare and if it is declared with var you are in a non strict mode you will get undefined if you declare with let and const you will always get a reference error so it will actually safeguard you from many of the things so we have seen all these three rules i will just repeat it once again from the beginning for scope if you are in the block scope let and const variables declarations are not available to use outside of the block only var is used if it is in the functional scope let const var none of this are accessible none of these variables are accessible which are declared with let const and var outside of the function functional scope if you are declaring them outside of a block outside of a function it is in the global scope you can access them anywhere however you should not encourage this practice you should declare a variable very close to its need if it is need in the block declare it there if you need in a function declare it there right that's a thumb rule we have seen that when you do a reassignment reassignment of things with let and var is very much possible however with not possible with const because it's a constant value right we have seen a tricky part of it like with object stuff that a property of a, a value of a property you can change of an object however you cannot reassign a new object of course for const it is the case last if you want to access a variable before it is declared let and const are very very safe to use because these are going to give you a reference error right these are the things that we have seen now my rule of thumb before the end is like don't use var anymore never ever don't use it always use let or const use const more often as often as possible use let when you need to reassign another value to variable and don't try to access a variable without declaring it and i hope that it was useful to you uh, thank you for watching i hope now you understand uh the use of let const and var are pretty well along with this concept of scope and other things that we have discussed in this video so i would really appreciate if you could subscribe to this channel or you like this video uh you know my twitter handle is there in the description of this video so you can always reach out if you have any further clarification required on this thank you very much for watching i'll be back with the next video very soon stay well stay healthy my friends